suffering anymore. Um, so, you know, he's at peace in that respect. Um, I mean, he he was he was um, had such courage, and he never moaned about his own condition. Um, uh, you know, he, he's a uh, an, you know, an inspiration to us all, really, in that respect. Um, I'm, you know, obviously very, very sad, and it hasn't quite sunk in really the fact that I won't be, you know, chatting with him on the telephone or mm. seeing him anymore. Um, but you know, his his spirit is eternal, and um, that's the main thing, you know. He, you, you were gigging with him up until only a few weeks ago, weren't you? Yes, you know, our last gig was Sunday night at the London Palladium. Um, and, and it was amazing. I mean, the, the last gig we did was absolutely incredible, and he said that he'd never, ever felt such a response from the audience. And they truly, you know, you, you know they were just gave him a lot of support. I mean, he, people are so surprised at, at how um, far he worked. I mean, he, he, he must have known how serious his condition was getting. I mean, he had the, the madness record out the other week. I mean, w was that his attitude as a person even before he was ill, do you think? Yes. Um, <clears throat> you know, as I said, he, he, he never moaned about his own lot. You know, um, as you, you, you probably know, I mean, he, he had polio. Mm. And so, you know, he always had to sort of like, you know, to get around was never as easy as it was for somebody who, you know, who was able-bodied. Um, but, you know, he just grinned and bared it, you know, and bore it, I should say. You know, he, he just got on with it. Um, and that was Ian. You know, stalwart, incredibly courageous. Um, you know, and he was one of the lads. Did, did, did he sort of um, appreciate who he was and what he'd achieved? I mean, he used to come into stations like this and we'd, we'd bow and scrape at, at his feet because he was a hero to all of us. Yeah. Uh, do you think he ever felt himself as a bit of a hero? No, no, no. Uh, I, no, I don't think so. He never came across like that. He had an immense humility, and I think that's why he was so, you know, why he sort of grew so much and had so much to say because, you know, he was interested in everything. He had a photographic memory. Mm. Um, I mean, he was incredibly witty. You know, he, he uh, you know, he had so many one-liners and, um, you know, he, he was always, you know, very much the centre of attention, you know, although, you know, I'm sort of like, he couldn't help but be like that, you know. Um, you know, he was just a natural performer. He loved, he loved entertaining. Well, 